Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to open up our discussion of arc measures. That is right, arc measures. So we're actually going to be able to find the degree or radian measures of arcs, all right? Yes, arcs of a circle. Before we do that, we're going to have to do make, make some definitions and clarify a few terms. So the goal of this video is to define the central angle, the minor arc, the major arc, and the semicircle, and do some basics of finding the measures of arcs. So let's first and foremost talk about the major versus the minor arc. So as you can see here, we have a couple of terms that are highlighted. Let's talk about the central angle first and foremost. The central angle is an angle that is created by two radii and has a vertex at the center of the circle. So for example, angle ACB is considered a central angle, okay? Now if the measure of the angle ACB is less than 180 degrees, the points on circle C that are on the interior or on the inside of this arc are called the minor arc. So basically what you need to remember is that the minor arc is going to be less than 180 degrees. So all of the points on this red arc right here on the circle lie on the minor arc and this arc measure along with this central angle are less than 180 degrees. So minor, less than 180 degrees. Now the points on a, uh, circle C that do not lie on the minor arc, AKA everything else that is, right, <clears throat> is gonna be called the major arc. Now these are gonna have an angle measure of larger than 180 degrees because of the central angle right here is going to be greater than 180 degrees. Notice how we write. We can assume, unless stated otherwise, that a minor arc is labeled with two points, endpoint A and endpoint B. Usually all minor arcs are labeled with only two endpoints. That's how we classify if we are talking about minor arc AB or a major arc that has the same two endpoints like this blue major arc does. Usually you will be provided a third point somewhere in the middle so that you could classify it with three letters of A, D, B. This helps us determine the direction to follow to go from one end point of the arc to the other end point of the arc, okay? So minor arcs are named by their endpoints, and the minor arcs are associated all right, <clears throat> with the following symbolism. You will see them symbolized as A, B, with a little arc right over the top. Similarly, for our major arcs and half circles or semi-circles, okay, you will see them with angle A, C, B, but be named with the three points and the arc above it there. Let's talk about finding the measures, okay? What is true about the measure of minor arcs is that they are going to be equal to the measure of the central angle that is created. They are equal to the measure of the central angle. So what we are saying here is that the measure of angle ACB is, or excuse me, it's 50, 50 degrees, but so is the measure of arc AB also measures at 50 degrees. So if that's the case, what is true is that arc A, D, B, the major arc, would then be 360 degrees, the entire value of the circle, minus 50 degrees, okay? Now, don't think that you're only going to see two arcs like we do here, all right? You are going to see things that are split up into a lot of different arcs. So let's take a look here at some examples. Identify the given arc as major, minor, or a semicircle, and then find the measures of the arc. So let's take a look at arc AB. So first and foremost, we have this arc AB that we are looking at here. We also have some information that AC 
and BE are perpendicular. Well, this tells me that these are 90 degree angles. So if this central angle is going to be 90 degrees, this arc, minor arc, is going to also be 90 degrees, and it is a minor arc. What about A, B, C? Well, this has three points, so we can assume that they are referring to either a semicircle or a major arc. And you can see that AC is a diameter, so that means that this whole value is half of the circle. So it is a semicircle at 180 degrees. Let's continue. Arc A, B, D. Well, think about what we have here. We have ABC being a semicircle plus another 40 degrees that we have. So we have 180 plus 40 for 220 degrees as a major arc. Let's take a look at arc BC. Similar to AB, we have another perpendicular uh, line happening right in here. So we have another right angle. So that means that we have another minor arc at 90 degrees. Now let's go B, A, C. And notice how I am all going in that direction. I'm following the order from B to A all the way to C. So I, from B to A, I have 90, right? From A all the way around to C, I have 180. So the 90 here plus my 180 is a 270 degree major arc. And then we have angle DAB, so I mean arc DAB. So from here we have D to A to B. Well remember A to C was 180, so 180 minus 40 gives that this angle here would be 140. So 140 plus our 90 is going to be 230 degrees as a major arc. CD down here, apologize for the bell. CD, we are going to have an angle at the center, our central angle at 40. That means the corresponding arc, these call them the subtended arcs, all right, are going to be also a minor arc at 40. And we've already classified 140 degrees for angle, or excuse me, arc AD, and that will remain as a minor arc because it is under 180 degrees. 